Well, hello there. My name is Terry, and you're watching Home Again. Tonight, we're going to make some sausage spinach pepper pasta. Try saying that three times fast. Hi, guys. Welcome to Home Again. We got a cozy fire going in the cabin here because it's a rainy, cold fall day. And we're going to go into the kitchen and make some yummy dinner. I wanted to be bad today and just grab a pizza or something but because uh, I was too lazy to cook but then I had this recipe and it's really simple and pretty quick to make so I thought I'd try to be good and go into the kitchen and and make this it's another cooking at the cabin series here um, this recipe I think originally was a Weight Watcher recipe my sweet daughter-in-law shared it with me many years ago and uh, I lost my original recipe, but I found this online and I think it's pretty much the same thing. So it's supposed to be pretty good for you. So let's go try it out. So these are the ingredients you're gonna need and I will post the recipe up on the screen. So if you wanna freeze the frame here, you can take a picture of it or pause and write it down, take it to the store with you. Um, I did change a couple different things on it, but we'll talk about that as we go. We're going to start with some Celentani pasta, or also known as corkscrew pasta. I hope I said that right. I went to a pronunciation site, so try not to um, butcher the beautiful Italian language. Uh, you can use this, or um, you can also use penne or any other pasta that's a firm one. Uh, roasted red peppers. Uh, we use sweet Italian sausage in this. Now, I wanted to find the ground sausage that looked like hamburger, but I could only find it in these uh, casings, like sausage. So what I'm gonna do is cut the casing off and put the meat in the pan and fry it up. I know it looks kind of ugh, but whatever, it's all I could find. If you can find any kind of sweet Italian Genio turkey sausage in the store, buy it up and freeze it because it's hard to find. Uh, some Parmesan cheese, some oregano, a nice big bag of spinach, some salt, pepper, and chicken broth. I just made my own with this base, or you could use bouillon cubes or like I said, just make your life easier by grabbing a can or a box of chicken broth. So that's pretty much all we're gonna need. I got my water boiling. Got my sweet little helper over there doing dishes for me. Thanks, babe. Mm. You wanna smile? <laughs> Thanks. So al dente, probably about 11 minutes. So as my water's boiling, I put my chicken base in some warm water, shake it up, I got my broth ready to go. And now while I'm waiting for the noodles to get done, I'm gonna move my workspace over to the kitchen table because I'm kind of limited on counter space here at the cabin. Uh, this is the skillet I used, an electric skillet. You don't need to have one of these. Any uh, large, shallow uh, pan on your stovetop would be just fine as long as it's going to hold all your ingredients. You have to excuse my skillet, it discolored. I was told by someone that that probably happened because I used cooking spray on it, but I'm still using cooking spray. Sorry. Anyways, um, excuse how it looks. It's nice and clean. I do like this skillet, uh, but like I said, you don't have to have one. Then we're going to get our turkey sausage ready. It is not the most appetizing looking. I can tell you that for sure. But just get those skins off of it um, and put it in the pan and fry it up like the ground meat. If you can't find the ground, of course it's always better if you can find that ground turkey. But this smells wonderful. I can't even begin to tell you how nice it smells. Um, it smells like sage or I don't know. You really want to use this ground turkey because it has great flavor. Um, I just try to break it up into kind of bite-sized pieces. So you hopefully get a little bit of sausage in every bite. Next, I wanna put in my red peppers. I wasn't sure because the recipe didn't say whether I should drain these or not. So as you can see, I started to drain them because I just didn't wanna make the whole dish too liquidy. And then I started to put in peppers. Also, these red peppers were in long strips. I didn't remember that last time I made this, but maybe they all come that way. 
Um, I did end up kind of breaking them up later and I decided to put all the juice in because there really wasn't much juice in those. So I just added it in for flavor. And then later I kind of chopped up these long red pepper strips. I thought they were pretty being big like that, but they're kind of harder to eat. And so I just made them more like a bite size. Next, I shook up my broth again. And I had made 16 ounces of broth. The recipe only count, uh, calls for 14 and a half. I made 16 just to make sure I'd have enough and I didn't end up using it. I might have used about 15 ounces, but I didn't need any more. I just wanted to play it on the safe side in case it got dry or something and I needed more. Next I add that bag of spinach, which I believe was an 8 ounce bag. and. Uh, I got carried away and I forgot to put my spices in. This is my oregano and my salt and pepper. So I just kind of moved the spinach aside to put that in like I should have before I put the spinach in. But no big deal. So sprinkle that in. And then I put the whole rest of the bag in. And you know what? Spinach cooks down. So when I was done, this looks like a lot of spinach, but you could hardly see it in the recipe. So when I make this again, I think I might actually use double the spinach. I don't know if that would change the flavor of it, so I'm not recommending it. But next time I try it, I might try that because spinach is good for you, right? And we love it and it, it all just has such a great flavor as this cooks and that chicken broth and the sausage and the peppers. It tastes so good. You know, when you look at this dish, it may not look the most appetizing but really do not judge a book by its cover, so to speak, because this is a really flavorful dish. It's really good. All these things cook and those flavors kind of blend together. And it's so easy, as you can see. So I just try to keep mixing it and get the spinach down in the juices. And now we're gonna get that um, macaroni in there, the noodles and I'm trying to get the broth it down in the broth so as it simmers, those noodles absorb that chicken broth flavor. And they did. And then I put the lid on it and I let it simmer, I think for about another 12 minutes. And I'd stir it once in a while, trying to make sure that those noodles stayed uh, down in the broth as much as I could. We made this last night and we have leftovers in the fridge so I'm already hungry for those and there's your finished product and if you like you can even sprinkle a little parmesan cheese on it but it didn't even need it, it tasted great without it. a little taste tester here you gonna try it out babe yep we're gonna pray over it and try it out okay let's pray Lord thank you for this time together we thank you for each other and for this good food in Jesus name amen amen thanks babe Okay, I'm nervous because he usually doesn't like things that are simple. He likes things uh -oh. sauced up and Kinda juiced got up. Spinach, a little meat with it. There we go. Oop. Here we go. Just like before, you gotta be honest. Mm. Wow, that's really good. Mm. I can't believe how tasty it is. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's good. I like it. That uh, the noodles soak up that chicken broth mm -hmm. and the taste of the spinach and the peppers and the sausage, of course. And yeah. it's guilt-free, too. Well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese might, you well, know, well, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, and I'd like to have it with some warm bread, but that probably wouldn't be Weight Watcher approved. <laughs> but we'll have to do the bread on another day when, when nobody, mm -hmm. no Weight Watchers are watching. <laughs> Real good, sugar. Thanks. Thanks. Look at that. I don't even have cheese on mine yet. Not saying I won't get a little sausage there. Here we go. I'm not gonna be. Um, oh, that's a big pepper. I'm not gonna be as brave as my sweetie. I'm. You're just gonna hear my sound effects. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. It is tasty. Give it a try. So quick and simple. Yum. If you enjoyed this video, would you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe? It lets YouTube know that somebody thinks my channel's worth watching. 
I sure would appreciate it, and I sure would love for you to be part of my little YouTube family. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope to see you next time.